Did, did Arthur didn't realize there was a squirrel there? <laughs> Is it going out of your sight? Oh. Morning. So my mother left an envelope on my uh, dresser, and I rem I know what's in here, but Lid it? but Lydia doesn't. Oh my goodness! So uh, I'll let Lydia open it up to see what's inside. What is it? Nothing. Here you go. It's sealed. Do I not? Just, can't look at the front. No, it just says our names. <gasps> it's Sean slash Lydia. So you can open it up to see what's inside. What is it? Nothing. Is it good? What is it? Oh my goodness! I love things! What is it? What is it? What is this? What's this? What's this? What's that? <gasps> Let's go right now! <laughs> what is it? It's a ticket to Canada's Wonderland! Two tickets to Canada's Wonderland. Yes. Mm hmm. May 4th to November 1st. Oh my goodness! She had a couple left over. Oh. Managed to get us some. <laughs> I was thinking about Wonderland for a while now. I, I know. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bonnie! I'm so happy. Everything's <laughs> wonderful. So, yeah, we can go to Wonderland at some point this summer. Right now. Tomorrow. Uh, maybe. Tomorrow? We can check the, what the weather will be like, and maybe we will. <gasps> Excitement. We'll go some point before school starts back up. I don't know when, but... Soon. I want to go now. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. Well, we can't go right now. I know it wouldn't be worth it. The day's already over. Yeah, it's, it's already late, late. It's not late into the afternoon. It's 4.30. We haven't really done much. <laughs> But it's no point of going now because, like, one, it's a little gloomy, although I would like to be at Wonderland when it's gloomy because then it's not super sunny and I won't get a horrible sunburn and be too, too hot. But it's too late in the day. Yeah. But yeah, Wonderland tickets. Yeah. Up top. I, I got those for you. No, it, was, you it, was me, it was my mom. Your mom did it. All thanks goes to my mother your for being awesome. Mm-hmm. Arthur, you can't go to Wonderland. Sorry. Oh, Arthur can't go. You're too short to go on the rides. He can go to the Scooby Doo. There's a, there's a, what is it called? There's a place where dogs go. Is there really? At Wonderland, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, there is. There's a dog place at Wonderland? Yeah, it's like. Can we go there and like visit the dogs? No. Oh. It's, a it's a doggy daycare. Yeah. At Wonderland. That's cool. I didn't know that existed. But yeah. Wonderland tickets. We'll go soonish. So I just simultaneously got the best and worst news ever. Uh, well, not really the worst news, but uh, tomorrow at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, Steam sales are going to start. Steam summer sales, which uh, is just a week, which is like 10 days of. Of everything being on sale on Steam, which Steam's amazing. If you don't know Steam, it's a computer, it's like an online community for PC games. And they have sales sometimes. And the, the two big sales are the summer sales and the Christmas sales. And, well, summer sale is starting up tomorrow. So yeah, I guess it's a good thing that I got a job because I'm going to want to be spending all of my money tomorrow. I'm not, I'm not going not to. Not in one day, is Well, it? yeah, not in one day. I, I, I got to space it out. 
over Don't the course they of the, do the ten more days. Things all the yeah, it's day. constantly the, the they're updating. Like every single day, they have different sales and stuff. Like there are sales that will last the entire week, but they also have dailies and oh, it's gonna be ridiculous. I'm gonna, ridiculous. I'm gonna limit myself to how much I'm gonna spend over the course of the week. But it's like I just it's just so convenient. Just because, like, especially if there's games that you really want, it's like, why spend full price when it's going to be on sale for, like, 80% off? Like, that's just ridiculous! So you're going to use the money you got from your very first paycheck? Kind of. What do you mean by that, Sean? Uh, maybe I haven't actually gotten a paycheck yet because I did just start, so I haven't gotten paid yet. Although I have made more than enough money, so I've possibly um, gotten an advance on my paycheck from from you. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. I stole some of Lydia's money because the Steam Summer Sale is going to start. And then once I get my paycheck, then I can pay her back for what I borrowed for now he just because like it's like ah I, and I knew I knew that the steam summer sale was gonna come up soon and I was like I just as long as it's after I get my first check so unfortunately I did not get a check before the summer sale started but there was a workaround to it thank you Lydia You're welcome. for feeding my horrible habits but it's steam don't and spend video it all games. in one day I won't. Because you have to spend it all in one place. Like, yeah, I got. I do have to spend it all in one place, but I won't spend it all in one day. I just I have lots of things. I have like 20 games in my wish list, so those are kind of where the focus will be for hopefully those are on sale for a good amount off. I'll get most of those, and then if there's any r really good deals, I'll pick some other stuff up too. And then I, and then I don't have to get anything until... Christmas time. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid Steam. It's just so convenient and amazing, and I love it. So I'm reading the Maze Runner trilogy, but I have to wait to get the other two final books in it, because everybody wants to read it, so there's a lot of um, holds on it, and I'm waiting in line. And when Sean had his interview in the library, I was just wandering around and I didn't expect to find anything because when there's a shelf full of things I can't look at it all I kinda just look at what's at eye level and just walk up and down because it's too hard for me to focus on anything when I try to look for anything it's I don't know it's just weird it's not what I can do I guess but I didn't expect to find anything and then I did I found a really really interesting book. It is called Ready Player One and it's amazing. I finished it um, and now I get to talk about it. It's so good. So it's like the basis is it's set in the future. The real world is pretty much crap. Um, but there is a virtual reality world that is called Oasis That's like the full you put goggles on and you like you can live in that world everything exists in that world and It's really pretty cool and The creator of it of that virtual reality world died and hid in it clues and quests you had to go through and at the very end of it, you can get his fortune and his share of this world. And it's crazy. And five years from when he like announced that, nobody had figured out how to do it. Um, and then it starts off with the main character figuring out the first clue and getting up on this scoreboard. And so it's madness and it's so in depth and it's about like 80s pop culture things the music the movies the video games of all of this person the person who created Oasis what he grew up with and it's crazy it's so in depth and it's a really really good story so I would recommend this book 
to anybody. You do not have to understand the references, because I didn't understand most of them. But the story, you don't, you don't have to know it. It is um, full of information, really detailing this world, and it is a very good read. It's pretty, pretty awesome. I really, really enjoyed it. I'll say things twice, because I really, really mean it. <laughs> the funny thing is, is that when I finished it yesterday, um, I, I was talking to Sean about it, because... Like, I told him he should read it, but he probably won't either not for a long time or won't ever read it. So I was telling him everything that happened, and I was just saying everything even though he didn't understand it, and going into all the things that they talked about, and how people solved things, and just how amazing and epic it really, really was. It's a story that's very well done and I thoroughly enjoy it and I would tell you everything but I can't because then it'll spoil it and so Sean didn't care about the spoilers so I told him everything that happened and I just kept finding things to say about it and all the interesting things that's a part of it and all that it ties into it it's just oh it's really really good so if you like books if you're looking for something new to read Ready Player One Look. Arthur, a patch of light in this dark, dark road. I can see you. So just taking Arthur out on his late night stroll so we can go to the bathroom before we go to bed. And I'm tired. I need to get some sleep. Okay? Okay. Oh, Arthur wants to keep walking. I better go. Alright, guys. Good night. Tomorrow, at uh, 1 p.m., our time zone. What's our time zone? Yes. Ontario time zone. <laughs> so at 1 p.m. in our time zone. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know what time zone is. Please make it fun of me because I don't know what time zone we're in. Of course I know. <laughs> looking it up right now at your computer. Are we Eastern Standard Time? I'm not going to tell you. Look it up. <laughs> I love you. I love you even if you don't know stupid things like time zones. Time zones don't matter, John. I know. Time zones don't We are Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> I knew that.